Welcome to Hopper Man. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, create box file in Excel. Also, um, understand distribution of data values and data sets. Okay. So, uh, first of all, in, uh, in order to create a box plot, you need to have file number summary. Start with the file number summary, go from there. So then also, um, we're going to start with the minimum. Quartile 1, quartile 2, quartile 3, and maximum. That's what we call the final number summaries. Okay, now we'll start with the minimum first. So in a, so we have a data set. Uh, it's called percentage of people without health insurance for each state in Washington D.C. And from here, first of all, we're gonna bring and open the parentheses, highlight the entire data set. Once you highlight the entire data set, Excel will locate the minimum value first. Okay. There so minimum value is six billion. 6.6. So in uh, quartile one, we also use the formula called quartile. So, uh, the third option. And then the uh, array here indicates the entire data set. So we're going to have an entire data set one more time. And comma. And we're looking for quartile one. Close parentheses. And that's how we locate the quartile. Remember for the quartile one. It's not really 11. And then median of this um, is also the quartile 2. So quartile and then highlight entire data set one more time. Comma and then 2. Okay. And once you do that, then um, you end up with the uh, quartile 2. Okay. Right. And then quartile 3. Type in quartile formula quartile, and then one more time we highlight the data set and close parentheses. Hold on, we um, still need to put in three for the quartile three. And after that, close the parentheses, key enter, you get the quartile three. And also the maximum, um, similarly, we type in max. Now they find the maximum. Using a formula match to locate the maximum. Okay. So close parentheses, let's see what the maximum is. The maximum turned out to be 27.7. Also, um, we can do a quick check. At least we can check in the minimum, maximum by sorting the data set. Okay. So if you go up here and that's quick, go to home. And that's the sorting option here. You can sort and filter, sort smallest to largest. And as you can see, the minimum is 6.6, .6, the maximum is 27.7. That means Excel is doing the right thing for us, which is good. All right, now from there, we can just highlight all the data values. We just need to start from minimum, quartile one, quartile two, quartile three, all the way to maximum. Then um, we're going to insert, and from insert, we're going to see this little two columns. I'm not sure it's not here. Okay. Actually, let's check it out. It's under here. Actually, it's under this histogram, right? That's an option for histogram. Then we're going to click on this particular histogram here box and then this plot. Right? That's what we want. Okay, so we come up with a box plot. Question: I saw no change the title saying health insurance in your state. Okay, so let's see. Uh, 
script. Okay. And again, we can definitely um, just format all of this. Okay. We can change different colors, right. change font size, change different style of the, of the letters. Okay. Yeah, so um, and right here, um, if you click on the plus sign, so you want to um, check the data labels, we can do that. So you label all the numbers for us. And also, um, it looks like the number is a little bit slightly off. So you definitely need to go to format data series. And right here, um, under the quartile calculation, you see inclusive media. That means we need to include a media. Okay, so that means um, the meaning to be including our uh, box plot, right? And showing our okay, and okay, so that's uh, that's all the numbers we need, and it, it does match with all the numbers we copied earlier. Including different, including different colors. Okay. This color and the outlines change the same colors. Okay. So in that case, you'll be able to um, modify this a little bit. Okay. And a lot of um, useful features available. You want to modify the box a little bit, but in this box file, we can see the distribution data set. Um, it looks like a lot more data was located towards, um, towards the right. Okay. As you can see, this distribution is not even, and definitely doesn't follow 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%. 25%. So it'll be, um, Still towards the positive left. Okay, so that's um, what this box bar tells us about the data set, right? Okay, so um, so that's pretty much everything on this video. So again, a lot of what we can do. Also, there, there's a chart design on top, and then we can change to different design on top. And um, yeah, one more time, data labels. Label data, and uh, we can also modify the design we want. Yeah. So that's definitely a lot of uh, useful uh, features available you know, inside of this cell. So I hope you enjoyed this video.